Hey guys, my name is Spencer Kaufman. Thank you for watching the Deception Tips videos. They're all about teaching you how to read people and detect deception so that you will know when someone is lying to you. Today we are going to talk about a pretty cool sign of deception that happens all the time, like a lot of these signs, but this one is pretty telltale because it's an unnatural sign that you don't really see too often. And it has to do with covering up and blocking so that people cannot see through you or see your vulnerability and it is a sign of deception that is indicated by someone feeling strong vulnerability or like someone can see through them or read their mind etc so here it is deception tip number six when a liar is questioned vulnerability may be shown by unconsciously covering the genital area either with folded hands or an object so this is pretty important because it's something that happens unconsciously. People often unconsciously place things between themselves and other people. So for this sign, it's kind of out there a little bit. It's a little weird because humans are already wearing clothing. So we really don't have any reason to feel exposed or vulnerable or anything like that because we, we're dressed. And so when someone questions us to, to further cover up is something that doesn't really make sense, but it's done because they feel like they are exposed and they are vulnerable. And this is something that happens in their mind. So it's not something that just happens when someone is lying. It's not a behavior that comes out as a result of a lie. It's something that happens once you press a lie. So this is a sign that is more of a confirmation sign. Once you start to see the other signs, like for example, if they fold their arms or if they lean a certain way or if their pupils move or anything like that, if you start to see a different cluster or a pattern of behavior, and then you start to question them, and now all of a sudden they, they start to cover private areas of their body or genital regions or anything like that to try to block more of your perception, then that's more of a confirming thing that lets you know that they really are lying. It's like, a, okay, wait a minute, I saw this cluster of behaviors and I think they could be lying, so let's press them a little bit, and then boom, you see another cue that happens, now you can know that they're lying for sure. Now. This can happen in any form or any variety. Sometimes, like for women, they kind of can clutch like a notebook or a binder and go like this. Or for men, maybe they set it in their lap or they have a newspaper. Or a lot of times you'll see like people, and this is uh, typically like you'll see security or bouncers or any type of uh, people who are supposed to look like they're professional and authoritative with command presence and things like that. You'll see them stand with one hand inside the other, kind of like this but it'll be this direction and they kind of hold them over their waist, that is a very vulnerable gesture. Typically, if someone is in security or they're having a confident pose, they would put their hands behind their back. And you can see what that does to my chest and my shoulders. It draws them back. It already looks like I'm standing up a lot straighter. I'm more confident. Whereas if I put them in front of me, you can see I'm kind of hunched. I'm slouched over. I'm a little bit timid and afraid, if you will. So that is something that when a liar is questioned, they will tend to cover different areas of their body and they don't need to because they already have clothing on or they may already be sitting behind a desk or something. And so what would be the purpose for them to put something else in front? It's a security gesture, it's a comfort gesture that they do when feeling vulnerable. It is another way for the unconscious to leak a sign that tells other people if they're paying attention that the conscious or that that person is being deceptive. So if this is your first time watching these videos, I would love to have you subscribe to the channel on YouTube. In addition, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them there as well. Also, if you'd like more information, we have books, ebooks, podcasts, and blog posts all available on spencercoffman.com that are 100% dedicated to teaching you how to read people and detect deception so that you will know exactly what everybody is saying. Until next time.